vegetable garden, chickens maybe. I hate horses. I hate chickens. I hate all of that shit. You got me confused with somebody else. You keep coming up here with this lame country dream life with chickens and vegetables, and I can't stand any of it. It makes me puke to even think about it. We'll get you to it. <laughs> You're unbelievable. I'm not letting go of you this time, May. You never had a hold of me to begin with. times have you done this to me? What? Suckered me into some dumb little fantasy and dropped me like a hot rock. How many times has that happened? It's, it's no fantasy. It's all a fantasy. And I never dropped you either. No. You just disappeared. I'm here now, aren't I? Oh, well, praise Jesus God. I'm going to take care of you, May. I am. I'm, I I'm going to stick with you no matter what. I promise. Get out of here. But you have to go up and, and run off anyway. Run off? Me? Yeah, why couldn't you just stay put? You knew I was coming back to get you. What do you think it's like sitting around in a tin trailer for weeks on end with the wind ripping through it? Waiting around for the butane to arrive. Hiking down to the laundromat in the rain. You think that's thrilling or something? And then he had this one relatively known actress who had... Schizophrenia! Shh! I'm explaining things. And then he had this other actress who he decided to take a chance on. But she wasn't delivering. So, every day before the shoot, he'd sneak into her trailer with half a tab of ecstasy and slip it into her coffee. And boom! Just like that, she was nominated for the Best Supporting Actress at the Independent Spirit Awards. Why would I do that? Why would I do that, Mike? Why would I let you go? Mike, everyone that I love leaves me, but not you, not you. You're staying right here with me. You're gonna stay with me. Wow, this is a tin house. What is it? There you go again. When you say our bad little habits, Dad, what bad habits do I have, huh? None, but we all know what bad habits he has, don't we? Of course you'd say that, because you don't have to lie to people about all the shit that you do. People hear stuff, Max. They want to know if what they're hearing is true. Like what? What are people hearing? Say it. Let's hear what kind of lies these so-called people are spreading about me. <sighs> okay. What about the 15 and 16-year-old girls you got caught partying with? Back in August. Was that a lie? Looking over your shoulder. Makes you turn. No. We're here now. You, me, and my double. Your stupid double meat, double cheese, no tomatoes, grilled yeah. onion, mustard fried bun. Every well, time. That's what makes your brilliant play exceptional. It doesn't really change. Every night you work on the small things and make them perfect. If you want, it's just not for me. I don't want to be mundane. I want to grow and evolve. Even mm. when it's this hard. Otherwise, it's well, ordinary. Well, you know, in Greek mythology... Here we go again. No. This is relevant. You're too modest. Your stories, they're timeless. Real. It would be a shame if people didn't know who you are. Like I said, say whatever you say. <laughs> Shall we begin? Yes. The purpose of this interview is to talk briefly about you, Cyrus Stout. One of the greatest contemporary novelists of our time. Romance novelist, I might add. But you haven't picked up the pen in 10 years. Why the hiatus? Call it creative 